Credit cards are safer to carry than cash and offer stronger fraud protection than debit. You can earn significant rewards without changing your spending habits. Responsible credit card use is one of the easiest and fastest ways to build credit without creating debt. Because over here at Sledge Inc., we do not believe in creating debt because credit card debt is real. What is up team? It's your boy Sledge with the Sledge Inc. team back with another video. And today we're going to talk about the Capital One bucket, why you might be in the bucket, and possible ways to get out. And you know over here at Sledge Inc., I have 26 credit cards and I provide proof with true life experiences on how I travel with those cards. If your boy say he has a credit card, I show it in my hand. Because your boy don't just talk about it, I be about it. And you know over here at Sledge Inc., we get straight to business, so let's get to it. Have you ever even heard of Capital One Bucket? Well, Capital One has this unwritten rule that if you have fair or below credit when you get one of their cards, you will probably be put into their bucket system. Now, the cards that are usually bucketed are the Capital One Quicksilver, Quicksilver One, and the Capital One Platinum card. And once you're in the bucket, it's almost impossible to get a credit limit increase. It's also almost impossible to get out of the bucket unless you use their cards exclusively and put a lot of spin on those cards. And even then, it's still not guaranteed that you'll get out of the bucket. Unfortunately, your boy knows very well about being in the bucket because when I was rebuilding my credit, Capital One was one of the first issuers to give me a chance. The first card they gave me was the Capital One Platinum, and I got the Quicksilver about a month or so later. The Capital One Platinum card, not to be confused with the American Express Platinum card, is a no annual fee credit card with a high interest rate and no perks. Now this is the first credit card that I got when I started rebuilding my credit. Capital One eventually upgraded it to the Quicksilver One card, but your boy eventually canceled it. Now the other card that they gave me, the Capital One Quicksilver is a 1.5% cashback card similar to the Chase Freedom Unlimited. Now the Quicksilver card comes in a variety of forms. There's a secured version, the Quicksilver one for fair credit that comes with a $39 annual fee, the Quicksilver with good credit, which is the one that I have. Now this card does not come with a sign up bonus and does not have an annual fee. Then there's the Quicksilver for excellent credit which has a sign-up bonus of $200 when you spend $500, which is really good. For my friends that like to keep balances on their credit cards, the first three Quicksilver cards come with a 29.74 interest rate. And the Quicksilver for excellent credit comes with a variable interest rate of between 19.24% and 29.24%. Disclaimer. Do not pay interest to the credit card companies. Pay your credit card by the due date to avoid interest. There are many people that will never pay an annual fee for a credit card that brings them value, but will pay monthly interest to a credit card company that gives them a credit card that offers no value. Remember, a credit card is borrowed money. So if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. Now, if you want to get out of the Capital One bucket, there are a few things that you can do. You can request a product change to a different card, put a lot of spin on the card, or you can just cancel the card and apply for a different one. But also keep in mind that Capital One can deny a product change. And if you cancel the card, that would decrease your age of credit, which could affect your credit score. Now, these are your only cards. Spin your way out is probably your best option but I can't guarantee that that'll even work. As I said earlier, I canceled my platinum card that had been upgraded to a Quicksilver one because the credit limit was $1,000. I could not get any credit limit increases in seven years and they also wouldn't let me product change the card. And to top it off, when they upgraded the card from the platinum to the Quicksilver one, it went from a no annual fee card to a $39 annual fee card that I wasn't even using. 
So to me, it was a no-brainer to cancel, even though it was my oldest car at the time. As for the Quicksilver, the starting credit limit was $1,000, which I got an auto increase to $2,000 after six months. But eight years later, the credit limit is still $2,000. And keep in mind, my credit scores are in the mid-700s. My utilization is under 1%. I don't have any no payments or late payments on my credit reports. And I have several high limit credit cards from other lenders. And at this point, I just keep a 199 reoccurring charge on the card just to keep it active. It would be so easy to just sock Jordan's card forever. But your boy just had to try one more time. So I called Capital One and tried for a product change. And guess what happened? I was offered a Walmart card. And when I didn't accept it, they denied your boy again. But this time, your boy wasn't taking no for an answer. So I immediately called back and asked for a supervisor. They put me on hold for 10 minutes. And I was on the phone for 45 minutes. But guess what? Your boy got the product changed to the Capital One Venture card. Your boy might finally be out of the bucket. And I say might because the credit limit is still $2,000. So if you think you're in the Capital One bucket and don't want to spin your way out, there might be light at the end of the tunnel. Well, that's it for the Capital One bucket. Now, if you like this content or were just entertained, hit that thumbs up, share this video, and most importantly, drop a salute emoji in the comment section. And remember, change is inevitable, but growth is optional. It's your boy Sledge. Salute. No, everyone like a little ice cream. Now, can you feel me here? I don't care if I can or not. I'm a G. Yeah, you are a baby. Yeah, sure. <laughs> let, me, let me get the door for you. <laughs> hey. Thank you. Hey. With your credit card? Yeah, let me see. They'll be back coming soon. That is hilarious. They gave you ones? <laughs> Capital One. Capital One. Dispense money in. <laughs> the money in ones. It was one twenty to five. It's still funny. Cafe. Let's see. So we're at the Capital One Hub. Capital One in Hyde Park, Tampa, Florida. 50% off anything in the cafe if you are a Capital One holder. One of the many perks of Capital One. We are not endorsed. We are just reeking the benefits. Come join us. <laughs> <laughs> That's at least all like a paper.